<laughs> Fires have broken out all across our region in the past few days, and we'll let you know the status of those wildfires coming up. And we'll give you an update on how prosecutors in Yakima built a case to make arrests in MMIP cold cases, like the one that led to arrests in relation to the death of Rosenda Strong. And it's another hot day today, and we're monitoring air quality on this hot and hazy and smoky Wednesday. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good morning, Northwest. On your side. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Jill Sperling. I'm Riley Fitzgerald. And Riley, you could definitely see the haze driving in to work today. Definitely. You could see it in the lights. And unfortunately, it may be impacting our air quality. It definitely will be impacting our air quality. We'll take a look at that in my full forecast. But even driving in today, we could see it. We could see it in the fireworks last night. If we take another live look outside in Richland, we're going to be seeing, we can see it just on the distance, that hazy, hazy sky that we've been experiencing for a couple days. And it's likely going to stay for a couple more days this week. Definitely an air quality um, warning we're taking a look at, a warming trend, and our conditions for today, very, very dry, hot, and clear, similar to what we've seen the, this whole week so far. If we take a look at our radar right now, it is very, very quiet so far. We don't see that haze, however. Later on, we'll be taking a look at how that smoke is impacting us. Our temperatures right now, mostly in the mid to upper 50s across the region and some lower 60s. On your way out the door this morning, it's still just a little bit cold, but nothing to complain about because it's going to be getting very, very warm today. Again, hazy across our entire regions. 96 degrees in the Yakima area. In the Tri-Cities, it's going to be getting to 98 degrees. Also, haze in the area. And in Walla Walla, a lot of, lot of haze and 97 degrees. We'll be talking about where those air quality uh, in our area is more moderate or even hazardous. I'll have that in my full forecast coming up. Thank you, Riley, and we are continuing to monitor the wildfire situation across our region, and we do have a new evacuation order to report near Sela. A level three go now evacuation has been issued for people living near the Sela Cliffs fire just north of Sela. The order is for those north of Sela Creek Drive, east of Highway 821 and south of Graffiti Cave. The fire was last listed around 100 acres in size. Fire crews near Benton City tackled a small brush fire yesterday afternoon, stopping it before it could reach a nearby home and other buildings. The fire was reported on Horn Drive, just north of Benton City, just after 1230. Witnesses reported seeing smoke and flames, and the fire was a threat to a nearby home and other structures. Firefighters were able to get it under control quickly. The cause of the wildfire on Old Inland Empire Road Highway near uh, Benton City is still not known. The state fire marshal's office says the fire was first reported just after 1 o'clock Monday afternoon. Within minutes of the call, the fire had grown rapidly and had already burned several acres by the time officials were able to get to the scene. The wildfire has now burned more than 1,300 acres but is around 60 percent contained. And we don't yet know how many structures were lost or damaged. At least one building was destroyed and several vehicles that were trapped when I-82 closed were damaged. Wildfire crews were battling the Old Inland Empire Highway wildfire. More firefighters were called out to a wildfire that broke out on Claude Felter Road. The call for help came in just after 6.30 Monday night. Benton County Fire District 1 said firefighters got to the 32,000 block of Claude Felter Road just east of Badger Road. An acre of grass was on fire along with four semi-tractors. Several water tenders helped put out the flames. The semi-tractors were destroyed, but officials say there was not significant damage to structures. The Tunnel 5 fire has now burned more than 500 acres in Skamania County, and homes and 15 businesses are still under a fire threat. Megan Allison reports people are being asked to leave the area immediately, as containment is estimated at just a little more than 5%. Patrick McConnell says he was out of town Sunday afternoon when he got the call from his son-in-law to get back as a fire was getting closer. When he went up the hill to get important documents from the house, McConnell came across damage throughout the neighborhood. Put out some hot spots in some of the, the beds that had some bark mulch in them, uh, fires moving east, uh, time to go. And 
that's I mean it's 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 reaction. It's not. Uh, it's not thought process, it's just reaction. McConnell and his wife retired to the gorge seven years ago and worried about wildfires. When remodeling, they stored a water tank under the house connected to a sprinkler system. On Sunday, fire crews told McConnell that ultimately saved his home. When we did the remodel, we just, let's do this. And uh, I didn't ever want to use it. Tested it every spring, uh, drained it out every fall. Never wanted to use it, but he pulled the trigger and it worked. Now, this is a popular destination, especially during a holiday weekend, because agencies continue to bring in air support. They're asking people to be cautious when out on the water. Wildfires have burned several hundred acres in Yakima County over the past weeks and have drawn a lot of spectators. Emergency officials say they've seen more people coming out to look at the smoke and fires, increasing traffic in the area and delaying or preventing first responders from getting there to put out the fire. Authorities say spectators trying to get a good view of the fire can cause accidents with other cars or emergency vehicles that could further prevent people in need from getting help. It hampers fighting the fire sometimes because we get so much traffic, fire apparatus cannot get into that area. Um, if you want to see it, stay at a far distance, but please stay out of the area where the fire is at. If you do have to drive down a road near where a fire is happening, be sure to immediately pull over for emergency vehicles and be careful not to run over a fire hose. For years, the city of Yakima has had only one or two people enforcing parking limits for the whole city, but that's about to change. The Yakima Police Department is now in charge of parking enforcement and animal control. They've hired five non-commissioned community services to deal with both, which allows their sworn in police officers to handle criminal activity. They've also made improvements to the computer program they use to process tickets. We have uh, an automated system. Uh, it's a license plate reader. It marks GPS and the car reads the license plate and then they come back in two hours. And if the machine says that car has not moved, they'll get a citation. The chief says they're planning to start ramping up enforcement soon, especially in the downtown area, but we'll make sure to announce the change on social media to give people fair warning before they do. It was exactly four years yesterday since Rosenda Strong's body was found in a freezer on the Yakima Reservation, and the people accused of covering up her murder are finally facing charges. Federal prosecutors say it's a success story in their efforts to ramp up prosecution and prevention when it comes to cases of missing and murdered Indigenous people. Now, to help with that goal, they're getting an additional attorney in eastern Washington as part of the Department of Justice's new MMIP regional outreach program. Another goal of the program is to build trust. So that we can make sure that we can gather evidence effectively and bring forth cases that we can prosecute effectively to hold individuals accountable. P outreach at a national level and are working to fill attorney positions for the regional outreach program as soon as possible. Well, yesterday in Pasco, organizations and agencies from across the Tri-Cities region came out for the annual Grand Ole 4th of July celebration and parade. The parade is one of Pasco's longest standing traditions and this year celebrated a longer parade route to allow more people to enjoy the festivities. And if we can get the right video up there, we'll show the parade. A local law enforcement, fire departments, volunteers, the Young Marines and other organizations and volunteer groups, there it is, walked the route and handed out treats, including some of us here at Apple Valley News Now. And our Riley Fitzgerald and Jason Valentine managed to make it out to the parade. Riley, what was it like being out there? It was so much fun at the parade. I have walked in one parade before. It was a couple of years ago. This one was a lot of fun. We had candy, not nearly enough candy. Oh, no. <laughs> I will say we thought we had so much. We were the first ones in the parade that had candy um, to give out, but and but we just we didn't have quite enough. So next year we will definitely be bringing. I would say probably five times as much. <laughs> Yes, well, that sounds like a lot of fun. And also a lot of fun were these fireworks that capped off the day's festivities. And this has been sent in by a friend of our show, Jessica Howard. Thank you, Jessica, for sending that in. We'll return in just a moment. But first, Riley gives us another quick look at weather. Thank you, Jill. It's a hot and hazy day. We'll talk about how that air quality will be impacting uh, uh, our areas in your extended forecast.
coming up. And doctors in Minnesota are testing a new way of treating pain without the use of addictive opioids. That's next on Good Morning Northwest. At West Richland Family Dental and Prime Dental Pasco, we are open from 7 a.m. until 7 p.m., Monday through Friday, plus Saturdays for when the week gets to be too full. West Richland Family Dental and Prime Dental Pasco, stunning smiles for the whole family. My mom hired bath fitter to make me a new bath. My friend Jimmy said that when he got a new bath, it took forever. Jimmy didn't have to take a bath for a month. I didn't even get to miss one bath. It's just not fair. Bath Fitter will remodel your bath in as little as one day. We've got over 2 million satisfied customers and 35 years experience. Call now or visit bathfitter.com for a free in-home consultation. Next BT, we unlock our vault to spotlight Mila Kunis. M-I-L-A, last name K-U-N-I-S. Never before seen interviews. A special <laughs> ET is next. Tonight at 7 on Apple Valley News Now. Time for a new roof? Let m and Roofing replace it with the product so good, you'll never have to replace it again. All roofs come with a limited lifetime warranty. Never replace your roof again. With the heat and wind comes roof damage. Don't wait till it's an emergency. Plus, receive $1,000 off your new roof when you schedule by the end of July. So if it's time for a new roof or siding, let m and Roofing replace it with our certified installers. Because when it's all said and done, this is the sign you'll want your yard. I have moderate to severe plaque psoriasis. Thanks to Sky Rizzy, I'm on my way with clearer skin. Three out of four people achieved 90% clearer skin at four months. And Sky Rizzy is just four doses a year after two starter doses. Serious allergic reactions and an increased risk of infections or a lower ability to fight them may occur. Tell your doctor if you have an infection or symptoms, had a vaccine, or plan to. Nothing on my skin means everything. Ask your dermatologist about Sky Rizzy. Learn how AbbVie could help you save. Is your closet cramped and cluttered? Well, now there's Space Triangles, the clever new hanging device that fits over any hanger to save you closet space in seconds. And now may be your last chance to get them for a low price. Now you can vertically hang multiple items, guaranteeing that you'll have up to 70% more space in your closet. Your closet can go from messy to marvelous in no time with ease. The ingenious slipover design secures the hangers vertically. It snugly fits all types of hangers to save you space. Order now to get an 18-piece set of space triangles for just $9.99. But wait, due to rising costs and supply chain shortages, this may be your last chance to get space triangles at this low price. There is a strict limit of one closet pack per order while supplies last. Once they're gone, they're gone forever. Order now. Call 1-800-587-3514. Call or visit spacetriangles.com. So call 1-800-587-3514 now. <laughs> Portion of CAPKV is sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. A first of its kind study is giving some people relief from debilitating leg and back pain without the use of opioids. Doctors in Minnesota are testing an innovative new electrical stimulation procedure to help patients with long term chronic pain. Derek James has the story. In an instant. Went to go grab a gallon of milk out of the back seat of the car and was not able to stand back up again. Dawn Roots Houston became one of the more than 51 million Americans suffering from chronic pain. Pain in the back was there and it's stiff and it's sore and it, 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 it crunches, but the pain would shoot down my legs. It's what caused the 53 year old to leave her job as a gas station manager where she was on her feet for more than 10 hours a day. As soon as I got home, I didn't do my yard work, I didn't do my flowers, I just, I just wanted to be sitting down with my legs up and just not moving. Roots Houston tried and explored many back and leg pain remedies before turning to microscopic spine surgery. 13 months later, her pain returned. When a nerve has been impinged and sending pain signals for that many years, it's a sign that probably there's some scar tissue built up in the nerve. And even when you free it with uh, sort of classic surgery, it, the nerve isn't sort of going to behave perfectly afterward. Neurosurgeon Dr. Rohan Lal suggested Roots Houston take part in a clinical trial at M Health Fairview of the world's first double infusion transplant, a procedure that does not require any narcotic pain treatment. Unfortunately, a lot of people that get hooked on that stuff, and that was not a route I wanted to go to. 
She opted for the new integrated solution developed by Minnesota-based Centrifuge and the University of Minnesota. What we're doing is both fixing this instability in the spine, freeing and decompressing the nerves, and then placing electrical leads onto the nerves, um, which send a subtle electrical signal to limit the uh, nerve pain and back pain that patients feel even after a successful surgery. Game changer. That's how Roots Houston describes the procedure over a year later. Now if she has pain, she can adjust the stimulation of her neuromodulation device using her cell phone. As I tell my, my family and friends, don't mess with my buttons because I'm always on. <laughs> so a year ago, mm -hmm. would you be able to go for a walk like this in the park? Um, I might be able to go for a small walk, but it would not, I would not be standing upright like this. I would be limping and hunched. More recently, she's gotten back to a favorite summer pastime that the pain once made impossible. I love riding my motorcycle, <laughs> and that is something that I've gotten back into again. Don is one of 11 patients who have had the surgery. The new procedure is being tested in other patients around the country, but pain experts say it is still a few years away from being available to all patients, but it's giving many people hope in the meantime. Coming up, the Biden administration is blocked by a federal judge from contacting social media companies in its attempt to fight misinformation. And Riley Fitzgerald will return with a look at your first alert weather forecast. Do not attempt to eat this burger unless you like sweating, gasping, and jalapeno habanero and pepper jack cheese induced hallucinations. My rewards member set your mouth on fire with a one-time El Diablo single for $6.66 in the Carl's Jr. app. Yeah! It's the Ford Big Deal 4th of July sales event. Choose from big deals and great rates on new trucks and SUVs. Now through July 5th, lease F-150 for just $3.99 a month for 36 months with $7.50 trade assist cash and $54.49 due at signing. Only at your local Ford dealer. Warning your air conditioner unit needs service. Would you like me to call Bruce? Yes, call Bruce. Thanks to today's modern technology, it's never been easier to call Bruce Heating and Air. When your AC unit needs serviced, call Bruce. Oh my gosh. Let's get this party started. Just make sure you call the right Bruce. Now through September 30th, receive rebates up to $2,250 off on a new Daikin Fit system when you finance through Bruce Heating and Air. Terms and conditions apply. See dealer for details. Bruce Heating and Air. At LL Flooring, we've seen it all. It's a rental. It's, it's a, a remodel. remodel. It's a really bad day. Can I do this? Can you do this? We help you find your right floor at the right price. Turning indecision into your best decision. LL Flooring. Every step covered. If you're struggling to keep up with conversations, avoiding restaurants because you can't understand the waiter, if you've got the TV volume way, way up right now, then you really need these. These tiny but powerful little hearing aids are the Nano CIC Recharge, priced at only $297 for a full pair. No, not $2,097. $297. And no, these are not simply amplifiers. These are ultra high quality, ultra reliable hearing aids, priced thousands less than other hearing aids. They fit right in your ear. Nothing shows in the back of your ear. At only $297 for a full pair of ultra high quality rechargeable hearing aids, they make a perfect gift. When you order today, Nano will give you a 45 day money back guarantee. Order right now, and Nano will give you a free portable charging case and even ship them to you for free. 1-800-277-1540. 1-800-277-1540. You're getting a $1,000 check for Dayspring Ministries. Knowing that you're helping someone else you know, and that you're making a difference in their life. She's like my hero. Please tell us a story of someone you believe is making an impact. It's the Ford Big Deal 4th of July sales event. Choose from big deals and great rates on new trucks and SUVs. Now through July 5th, lease F-150 for just $3.99 a month for 36 months with $7.50 trade assist cash and $54.49 due at signing. Only at your local Ford dealer. Carl's Jr. is spicing up the all-day two-for-five-dollar deal savings. Try a new spicy little cheeseburger, spicy chicken sandwich, cheeseburger, or French toast dips, and more. Pick any two all day, five dollars. This is Broadway's Rock of Ages Band, July 21st at Legends Casino Hotel. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Riley Fitzgerald. 
Happy Wednesday, everyone. Hope you're having an amazing day so far. We are definitely seeing this haze. We're going to be talking about it. Basically, all of my weather forecast. Lots and lots of haze through our area. If you were watching fireworks last night, you definitely saw that haze. We're keeping an eye on the air quality. We'll get to that in just a moment. For our conditions today, very, very hot one. Once again, a little hotter than we were yesterday, about five degrees more. Very hot, dry, and clear day today if you don't count all of this smoke and haze. If we're taking a look at the entire Pacific Northwest, this smoke coming down from Canada is covering our entire region. And across the area today and into tomorrow, we're going to be experiencing this. We've been seeing the haze for now a couple of days. And we're going to keep seeing it. It's definitely impacting our air quality as well. If we take a look at our air quality map almost across our entire region, we're seeing moderate air quality, even unhealthy in the Toppenish area. If I take a step out of the way, we can see there is a little bit of good air quality across the region. We even see some hazardous conditions in the Seattle area. So we're taking a look at air quality. If you're more sensitive to uh, worse conditions, then you are going to want to take care when you're outside today. If we take a look at our future cast this morning, we're going to be seeing mostly clear skies in this evening. Maybe a shower in the Ellensburg area that's going to be gone and out pretty quickly across our Thursday morning. Very clear, maybe some scattered uh, clouds across our Thursday afternoon and some showers across the Cascades that may peak into the Yakima Valley tomorrow. Other than that, we're going to be seeing a clear start to our Friday. Other than that, it looks like a mostly clear day across the region. For our temperatures right now, we're seeing the mid to upper 50s and a few 60s there in Moses Lake. Other, it's a beautiful, beautiful morning so far. We are seeing that haze and we're going to be uh, seeing a big increase in our temperatures mid to mid 90s in the Yakima Valley. In the mid Columbia, we're seeing mid to upper 90s and in the blues, mid to upper 90s as well. Very, very hot day today. Definitely seeing that haze coming from this today into this evening. Our temperatures for tonight, mostly 60s across the board. The Walla Walla uh, area is going to be seeing the mid to upper 50s this evening. If we take a look at our wind speeds right now, very low, no wind events that are occurring in the next couple of days, very low, less than 10 miles per hour for our wind speeds. Our seven day forecast, very, very hot couple of days that are ahead of us, 90s across the entire board for our highs in Yakima. In the Tri-Cities, we're seeing mostly 90s, but we are seeing a couple triple digits. Very, very hot, very hazy for the next couple of days. In Walla Walla, we're seeing the exact same thing. A lot of sun, a lot of haze for the next couple of days, and 90s across that entire board. So today, we're watching that air quality. Definitely a lot of haze to keep an eye out for. Today, we have a very hot, dry, and mostly clear besides that haze. Jill, I'll send it back to you. Thank you, Riley. Now to a major ruling in the battle over free speech online. A federal judge restricting the Biden administration's contacts with social media platforms. The judge sided with Republicans who claimed the administration overstepped in its efforts of stopping the spread of misinformation. One of the officials who filed the lawsuit is calling the decision a win for the First Amendment and a blow to censorship. Here's ABC's Lionel Moise. This morning, a federal judge in Louisiana is limiting the Biden administration from contacting social media companies. The judge saying the administration likely violated the First Amendment when it pressured those companies to remove certain posts. The order comes as Republican attorneys general in two states sue the administration, claiming it pressured sites like Facebook, Twitter and YouTube to remove messages containing purported misinformation about COVID-19, election security and other issues. What's your message to platforms like Facebook? They're killing people. I mean, it really, they really, look, the only pandemic we have is among the unvaccinated. And, that, and, they're, and they're killing people. Trump-appointed Judge Terry Doty called the efforts by the Biden administration Orwellian, saying American citizens have the right to engage in free debate about significant issues affecting the country. The judge adding, it is quite telling that each example or category of suppressed speech was conservative in nature. 
The judge also issued a preliminary injunction barring top administration officials and several federal agencies, including the Justice Department, from having any contact with social media platforms for the purpose of encouraging the removal, deletion, suppression, or reduction of content containing protected free speech. The decision appears to take effect immediately, but can still be appealed. The First Amendment does not prevent the government from trying to persuade people to do something. And the Supreme Court has explicitly held over and over and over again that the government has a constitutional right to attempt to persuade you to behave in a particular way. But the power is still left with the social media platforms. Lionel Moyes, ABC News, New York. No response yet from the White House or Justice Department. The judge is allowing the government to still communicate with tech companies about illegal activity and national security threats. When we return on Good Morning Northwest, it's an annual Five, contest and a 4th of July tradition that brings competitors from all over the world. We'll give you the update on the famous Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest. We're all here to talk about her. Hello. We built her so we could get a family plan. Well, with U.S. Cellular, it's just $19.99 per line. I guess we don't need that fourth line. This is awkward. U.S. Cellular, built for us. If you're sick and want to get well. Patti LaBelle guest stars. Who would have thought that my beautiful daughter-in-law would be in my choir? I'm a bit of a singer myself. You're so handsome. Hello. The Wonder Years, tonight on ABC. A succession sweep, Ted Lasso about to score big, and Harrison Ford ready for his first nomination ever. Are there any slam dunks? We break down the top Emmy contenders. What could put Brad Pitt in the mix? Next Extra. Tonight at 7.30 on Apple Valley News Now. From Cat KV, Apple Valley Eats. The next time your jaws are aching for a really great seafood dinner, where would you rather be? I'd rather be at Sea Galley. Now isn't that a good idea? At Sea Galley, we have lobster, and clam chowder, and shrimp. At Sea Galley, you don't need to wait for the weekend. We offer three cuts of slow roasted juicy prime rib seven days a week. And don't forget, we offer our all you can eat salad bar. Or the Shipwreck Lounge with local beers, wines, and a variety of signature drinks. And don't forget, we've got crab legs. Come on down to Sea Galley. So come get your crab legs tonight. Smoke City for Less is your one-stop shop in Kennewick, Richland, Pasco, West Richland, and Hermiston. Every location is conveniently located. And now, Smoke City for Less Hermiston has relocated to North First Street by AutoZone. An easy turnoff, $3.95 and you are there. For the lowest prices and largest selection of vape mods, the best batteries, tobacco products, Kratom, and specialty products too. Open seven days a week. Five locations, Kennewick, Richland, Pasco, West Richland, and the new location in Hermiston. Off $3.95. Smoke City for Less. We smoke the competition. Welcome to the Village Bistro. I wanted to share with you some of the things we have on our menu. We're open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. One of our favorite dishes here is the keto bowls, loaded with delicious vegetables such as squash, zucchini, broccoli, and then you get to pick your protein, such as smoked Polish sausage, chicken, shrimp, or steak. Another favorite dish we have here is our meatball sub. You have to try this, it is delicious. We love to get to know each customer and we want you to feel like family when you're here. We can't wait to see you at the Village Bistro. Right now at U.S. Cellular, you can get a new phone without having to trade in your old one. Trade you my PB&J for that phone. No, kid, you don't have to trade. See? $600 off any phone at U.S. Cellular. No trade-in needed. Boom. Chocolate milk. I'll take the chocolate milk. U.S. Cellular. Built for us. Portion of Cap KV sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health. Making communities healthier. All right, Riley, this is a staple of <laughs> the 4th of July. The famous Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest. 
Joey Chestnut is the top dog once again. He scarfed down 62 hot dogs and buns in 10 minutes to win this year's hot dog eating contest. The event at New York's Coney Island was delayed initially because of rain and lightning. Chestnut won his 16th <laughs> mustard belt. The 62 dogs he oh. ate are less than the record 76 he consumed in 2021. You know, that just doesn't look like much fun. <laughs> On the women's side, Miki Sudo won her ninth championship. She downed 39 and a half hot dogs and buns in 10 minutes. Sudo holds the women's world record 48 and a half hot dogs. She set that mark in 2020. They must have just not been that hungry. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I think 48 and a half hot dogs is about how many we went through last night at our 4th of oh. July celebration. <laughs> but not with just one person, I hope. Oh, no. Across, um, oh, how many people were there? Probably, probably about 20, 25. Okay, that sounds a little bit better. <laughs> yes. And... It was a beautiful, I think it was a beautiful 4th of July night, except if you would take a look at the haze. Mm. It was definitely a little distracting of, across the area as we saw some beautiful fireworks, a lot of that haze across our region. I'll have a look at your first alert weather forecast that is coming up. And coming up on Good Morning Northwest, while the 4th of July is a celebration of freedom, there's been a trend of violence for the holiday in the last few years. And three people are dead after shots were fired into a large crowd in Fort Worth, Texas. In today's Tech Bites, the next generation of iPhones is expected to feature significantly larger batteries. The iPhone 15 will reportedly see the biggest increase in battery life, going up 18%. And sources say the battery capacity of the iPhone 15 Pro will jump by more than 14%. Google has adjusted its privacy policy so that public data can be used to help train and create AI products. Analysts say that this change shows that Google is leaning more heavily into AI. And testing is underway at the new Sphere in Las Vegas. The 17,600-seat venue includes a massive 292,000-square-foot 16K LED screen. Those behind the project say that the goal is to help create a VR experience without the goggles. Those are your Tech Bites. Have a great day. stayed in this amazing hotel and paid this much for her room. Jess found the same hotel on Trivago and paid a lot less. Trivago compares hotel offers from major booking sites so you can find the best deal for you. Hotel Trivago. The long-lasting scent of Gain Flings made it smell like Dave was in his happy place. The massage chair at the mall. But he wasn't. Gain Flings with OxyBoost and Febreze. With a rise in mass shootings in the United States in recent years, there's been a grim connection between gun violence and the nation's Independence Day. And just before the 4th of July began, shots were fired into a large crowd in Fort Worth, Texas, leaving three people dead. And it's a hot and hazy day across our entire region today. We'll get you prepared for the air quality that we're experiencing today. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good morning, Northwest. On your side. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Jill Sperling. I'm Riley Fitzgerald. Now, Riley, we've been talking about the haze and you said it did kind of impact the fireworks a little bit yesterday. You could still see them. You could definitely still see them, but as you're like looking across the sky, you could definitely see as the air was kind of brightened by the fireworks, we could see this over yeah. layer of haze. Like an interesting effect anyways. <laughs> definitely. Unfortunate that our air quality is impacted it by it. It definitely is. And we're going to be seeing this not only today, we've been seeing it for the last couple days, but also for the next today and at least into tomorrow and probably Friday. If we take a live look outside right now, we're going to be seeing some of that haze. I, I would say it was a little bit 
um, more severe last night. But as we get into our later hours, it's going to be um, continuing. If we take a look at what's ahead, that air quality we're taking a look at and that haze. We're on a warming trend as well today. Dry, hot, and clear conditions for your Wednesday. Very, very hot one that is ahead. If we take a look at our radar, mostly very clear. A couple of clouds are going to be popping up more towards the Yakima Valley later on today. But other than that, very clear, very, very hot day that is ahead of us. If we take a look at our conditions right now, we're seeing mostly 50s across the board, lower to higher 50s. So still a little bit cold as you make your way out of the door this morning. For our daily planner, 96 degrees in Yakima, very, very hazy. Hazy in Tri-Cities as well. We're, we'll get you prepared for those air quality later on today. And hazy in Walla Walla at 97 degrees. I'll send it back to you, Joe. Thank you, Riley. A sobering perspective on Independence Day celebrations according to new research. The July 4th holiday has seen the most mass shootings than any other day in a calendar year over the past few years. John Lawrence reports. For some people, fireworks may be the first thing they associate with July 4th, but there's a continuing trend that links fatal shootings to the holiday. Everybody was right here and there was a they was just popping fireworks, like doing burnouts and stuff. And then there was a lot of gunfire that just started ringing out and then everybody just started running everywhere. According to CNN's analysis of data from the Gun Violence Archive since 2014, the Independence Day holiday has had the most mass shootings compared to the rest of the year. This is insanity. This cannot, cannot be the society that we are expected to live in. Both CNN and the GVA consider a mass shooting an incident where four or more people are injured or killed, not including the shooter. Over the past few days, heading into this year's July 4th, numerous mass shootings were reported in Philadelphia, Fort Worth, Texas, and Baltimore. I think, frankly, people are, are tired of the, the, the finger pointing in the politics when nothing happens and nothing gets done except we just can you continue going from tragedy to tragedy. The July 4th holiday weekends from 2020 through 2022 saw double-digit shootings in a single day. I'm John Lawrence reporting. Gun violence has been on the rise during summer months, according to CNN's analysis. The findings say of the top 10 days with the most mass shootings since 2014, all but New Year's Day took place in June, July or August. A mass shooting in Fort Worth, Texas, just before midnight Monday, may have been related to a traditional 4th of July celebration. It happened at a parking lot in the neighborhood of Como, where police say a large crowd was gathered. The shooting left at least three dead and eight others wounded. Ten of the victims are adults and one is a juvenile. The injured are at area hospitals in unknown conditions. No suspects are in custody. A parade scheduled for Tuesday morning still took place prompting angry reactions from the families of the victims. I'm sorry for all the families that it happened to. I'm sorry that we had to watch them have a parade where our children got killed last night. Or watch the police officers park where my baby was shot. The suspect alleged to have killed five people Monday night in Philadelphia will be arraigned Wednesday. Authorities previously said four men had been killed in a hail of gunfire that left 50 shell casings at the scene. But police later found a 31-year-old man dead inside a nearby house. Authorities believe both shootings are related. Investigators have a 40-year-old suspect in custody whose identity has not yet been released. He will face multiple counts of murder, among other charges. They say he was armed with an AR-style rifle, a handgun, wore a bulletproof vest, and had several magazines of ammunition and a police scanner. Another person is also in custody, but their connection with the alleged shooter is unclear at this time. After a brief foot pursuit, officers made contact with the suspect in the rear alleyway of Springfield Avenue. Officers engaged that suspect where, he was where they were able to apprehend a suspect without incident. Officers were able to locate a 9mm uh, handgun and an AR-15 style uh, assault rifle. None of the victims engaged the suspect or were aware the suspect was going to inflict this act of violence upon them.
Shooting also injured two children, a two year old and a 13 year old. They are in stable condition. The oldest living survivor of the Tulsa race massacre is sharing her story in a memoir entitled Don't Bury My Story. Viola Fletcher writes about the 1921 tragedy. At 109 years old, Fletcher remembers when a white mob ran through Tulsa's Greenwood district, killing hundreds of people and destroying homes. Fletcher was only seven years old when it happened and said it wasn't something people talked about as she grew up. She believes you're never too old to tell your story, and the memoir was released Tuesday. All right, Lee Fitzgerald is here now with a look at your forecast. We're taking a look at a very, very hazy day today as we continue on this trend that we've been seeing now for a couple of days. We'll get ready for this air quality that we're experiencing coming up in my full forecast. And workers in a couple different states and cities could see their paychecks increase a bit as higher minimum wage requirements are set to go into effect. An eagle eye tour of spectacular Boundary Dam. Come along to the North Ponderay River as we fly the Northwest. Apple Valley News Now at 6 Tuesday. Introducing the new line of crispy chicken pizzas from Little Caesars. Large pizzas with white sauce and crispy chicken. Topped with either a swirl of barbecue, buffalo, or garlic parm sauce, or choose no swirl at all. New crispy chicken pizzas available online for $9.99. Pizza, pizza. I wanna rock! The electrifying rock stars from the original cast of the Broadway production now in concert. No! This no! is Broadway's Rock of Ages no! band. Live and in concert. Friday, July 21st at Legends Casino Hotel. Tickets on sale now at Ticketmaster.com. Broadway's Rock of Ages Band, performing the monster hits that helped define the 80s. Ooh, someone just got the new DQ Cake Batter Cookie Dough Blizzard. All that DQ soft serve, cake batter flavor, confetti cookie dough pieces, and signature sprinkles? Dad, you said you'd wait until you got home before digging in. I never said that. Pretty sure you didn't. <laughs> oh, cue the confetti! Mm. That's cold. Because the new DQ Cake Batter Cookie Dough Blizzard won't be here forever. Only at DQ. Happy tastes good. Get it in the app. A new roof looks great. A new roof with new gutters looks amazing. With Aero Roofing, amazing is now more affordable than ever. Get 25% off gutters with your new re-roof. Did we mention our 50-year roof warranty at no extra cost? Don't miss this limited time offer. Give Aero Roofing a call today. Buds and Blossoms 2 in Richland. Servicing the full Tri-Cities, we design custom arrangements for birthdays, weddings, funerals, and just because. Stop into Buds and Blossoms 2, home of the big white dogs, at 1310 Jadwin, Richland. It's a celebration of Merlot this summer in Walla Walla, July 13th through the 15th. Join more than 50 Walla Walla wineries for Celebrate Walla Walla Valley Wine. Take part in special tastings of rare library wines, enjoy intimate winemaker dinners, and gain access to premium Merlots during the wine panel presentation and tasting. Participate in this full sensory experience from July 13th through the 15th. Tickets are on sale now at wallawallawine.com. Homeowners, Washington is moving to renewable power. Consider an investment in green energy. Rooftop solar with Solar Power Northwest, a true one-stop shop. Solar Power Northwest, a better way to solar. I ought to slap this gavel on this thing. Oh, gotcha! You ain't got no friends back there. <laughs> This is the thing. Oh, 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 you probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Judge Steve Harvey, new tonight, 8, 7 central on ABC. This is Broadway's Rock of Ages Band, July 21st at Legends Casino Hotel. Time right now is 543. Welcome back. Some minimum wage workers in Oregon will see a raise on their next paychecks. On Saturday, Oregon raised its minimum wage to $14.20 and Nevada raised it to $11.25. Several other cities across the country have done the same. In Los Angeles, workers will now make at least $16.78, and in San Francisco, $18.07. Some of these raises are linked to inflation and took place automatically as part of a schedule. The federal minimum wage hasn't budged since 2009. It's still stuck at just $7.25. 
Coming up, another fire breaks out on the west side, prompting evacuation warnings across all three levels. And we'll return at your first alert weather forecast. That's coming up next. is Broadway's Rock of Ages Band. It's July 21st at Legends Casino Hotel. Whether someone is across the neighborhood, across the street, or across the room, you have the power to make them feel right at home. Ritz, a taste of welcome. At Affordable Dentures and Implants, we believe in the healing power of a new smile, the way it makes you look and feel the way a smile lights up a room, so people can see the best version of you. Which is why we make new smiles affordable for everyone, so you don't need to wait another day to get your smile back. Scan the QR code to learn more, or visit affordabledentures.com. Go ahead and smile. This is Apple Valley Eats. Well, I think what you'll find at Coyote Canyon, we have, uh, you know, not only some, the most, some of the best and most consistent wines, and it's our goal to have a, just a really good time, and uh, our staff wants to show all our customers a good time. So we also have a lot of different events, and so if you come in, um, our staff will definitely show you a good time while you taste some of the best wines, not only in Washington, but probably in the world. So yeah, we're pretty unique in the fact that we grow over 26 varietals at our vineyard, and we make about 20 of them here at the winery. We love uh, food and wine. Um, with all the different wines that we have, we have basically a pairing for kind of anything that you're going for. For me, probably my favorite uh, pairing would be our uh, Bozak Red Blend. Give me a nice cut of steak with that. Grilled potatoes, grilled asparagus, and I'm good to go. My wife has been, uh, as you can see on all the walls, continues to make, uh, paint a lot of pictures. And a few years ago, we started doing an artist series. It's a beautiful picture that my wife painted of those horses on, the, on that slope of the Horse Seven Hills. Time for a new roof? Let Eminem Roof and replace it with the product so good you'll never have to replace it again. All roofs come with the limited lifetime warranty. Never replace your roof again. With the heat and wind comes roof damage. Don't wait till it's an emergency. Plus, receive $1,000 off your new roof when you schedule by the end of July. So if it's time for a new roof or siding, let Eminent Roof and replace it with our certified installers. Because when it's all said and done, this is the sign you'll want your yard. Homeowners, Washington is moving to renewable power. Consider an investment in green energy. Rooftop solar with Solar Power Northwest, a true one-stop shop. Solar Power Northwest, a better way to solar. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Riley Fitzgerald. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Hope you're having an amazing day so far. We're taking a look at this haze that's widespread across most of our regions today, and that's the biggest weather story today. Definitely have some air quality things to be concerned about. A warming trend across this today and tomorrow. We're experiencing a very dry, hot and clear day today besides that smoke and haze. And if we take a look at where this smoke is coming from, it is coming south down from Canada and we see it's across the entire Pacific Northwest right now. If we take a closer look here, we can see it's just widespread across our areas. If you were watching some fireworks last night, you may have seen a lot of this haze that's across our region. And if we take a look at how this is impacting our air quality right now, this is a map of Washington. I'll take a look or I'll take a step out of the way really quick and we can see how this is impacting our areas. For the most part, eastern Washington, a lot of places are having good air quality right now, but there are places with moderate or even unhealthy air quality, such as the Toppenish. The Tri-Cities is seeing some moderate air quality as well as the Walla Walla area. Over in Seattle, we see it's even dipping into the hazardous zone. Aside from the Canadian wildfires, there are also some wildfires that are happening in that area that are affecting the air quality as well. If we take a look at our future cast, we're gonna be seeing a lot of very clear skies 
for this Wednesday morning. If we take a look into uh, Wednesday evening, we're going to see some cloud coverage start to peak out and then disappear for our Thursday morning. Reappear once again in the afternoon, maybe a few scattered showers across the Cascades and maybe dipping into the Yakima Valley tomorrow. If we take a look into Friday morning, we're going to see some clouds start to appear, but other than that, very, very clear start to our Friday. We take a look at our temperatures right now, mostly in the 50s across the region, lower 50s in the Tri-Cities, upper 50s in the Blues, in the, Wal in the Yakima area, mostly mid 50s. Even the Moses Lake is seeing 60 degrees right now. We're going to be warming up quite a bit as we get into the rest of our day. So mid 90s in the Yakima Valley, in the mid-Columbia, we're seeing mid to upper 90s. Very, very hot today and in the Blues, we're seeing mid to upper 90s as well. Just a very, very hot day ahead of us this evening. Very hazy night, mostly 60s across the board, except for the blues where we're seeing mid to upper 50s. Very, very hazy evening, just like we saw last night. We're going to be seeing another hazy evening tomorrow night as well. Winds today we're seeing very low so far, but we're not going to be increasing them very much, mostly staying below 10 miles an hour. So no big wind events to be aware of. Our seven day forecast, very, very hot day today, getting hotter tomorrow, even picking up a lot for our weekend that Sunday, 99 degrees in Yakima this weekend. Very, very hot week that is ahead of us for the Yakima area. In the Tri-Cities, another very, very hot week as well. Tomorrow, we may be even seeing the triple digits. I don't know if we've seen the triple digits yet this year, so very, very exciting. So be prepared for those conditions. Walla Walla area seeing very, very hot conditions as well. We're keeping an eye on that air quality. If you're more, uh, if you're more, uh, if you don't like the conditions of the air quality, maybe staying inside a little bit more. Very, very hot conditions to be aware of today. Jill, I'll send it back to you. Thank you, Riley. State fire assistance has been mobilized in support of local firefighters working to contain the McEwen fire located in Mason County near the city of Shelton, Washington. The McEwen fire started yesterday around 1.52 p.m. The fire is estimated at 250 acres and growing. It is burning in grass, brush and timber and is threatening homes, timber and power infrastructure. Level one, two and three evacuations are in effect at this time. The fire cause is currently under investigation. When we come back, an unexpected Swifty fan can't help but show his excitement for the megastar's next stop on her tour. Weeknights on MeTV. Watch Andy Griffith at 8, the Beverly Hillbillies at 9, and Green Acres at 9.30. BTV for Yakima and the Tri-Cities. Broadcast channels 35.2 and 42.2 and on Spectrum Channel 182. So, all of us are here to talk about trading. Right now at U.S. Cellular, you can get a new phone without having to trade in your old one. I'll trade you my PB&J for that phone. No kid, you don't have to trade. See? $600 off any phone at U.S. Cellular. No trade-in needed. You drive a hard bargain. Boom. Chocolate milk. You don't have to trade. I'll take the chocolate milk. Okay. Get $600 off any phone. No trade-in needed. U.S. Cellular. Built for us. For a limited time, save 32% on a Samsung French door fridge at Fred's 4th of July sale. This family size French door is designed with a modern look to accent your kitchen. On sale for only $15.99, Fred's has this Samsung fridge in stock and ready for pickup or delivery. With separate pantry drawers for storage, this Samsung French door can handle all your groceries. Save $700 on this Samsung fridge on sale for only $15.99. Don't miss Fred's Appliance 4th of July sale. From the very beginning, we've been taught safety is very important. It's an act of love. When we're on the road, every action we take gets everyone to a safer place. Each of us can make a difference. Slow down. Ride sober. Get endorsed. Get training. Alone, we are strong. Together, we are stronger. And together, we get there. At LL Flooring, we're here for pros. With guaranteed support for your projects every step of the way. Get the best hardwood, vinyl, laminate, and accessories. 
in stock and at the best price. And with dedicated support, you can level up your business without upping your costs. Get the right service, right selection, and right price for you and your clients at LL Flooring. Sign up now for pro exclusive pricing. Floor pros know. LL Flooring. If your family is anything like this, you need quality floors from Empire Today. Like durable carpet with built-in stain and pet protection. Tough wood laminate with a scratch resistant finish. Or waterproof vinyl plank floors. Even bath time is no match. And when life happens, Empire backs every floor with great warranties. Quality floors you can count on. Save $350 on your next project. Call this special number now. 1-844-254-8536. Next ET, we unlock our vault to spotlight Mila Kunis. M-I-L-A, last name K-U-N-I-S. Never before seen interviews. A special <laughs> ET is next. Tonight at 7 on Apple Valley News Now. Live with Kelly and Mark. Today at 9 on Apple Valley News Now. Welcome back, everyone. Let's take a look close to home. 93 degrees in Ellensburg is our high today. Hot and hazy like we've been seeing all week. Mid-90s in the Yakima Valley. We're just a little bit warmer than we were yesterday. That haze is in the mid-Columbia as well. Mid to upper 90s there. And 90s across the entire Blue Mountain region. Very hot day today. That's a look close to home. A lot and a lot of haze and heat across our areas. Well, Swifties in the Kansas area are in the Kansas City area are counting down the days until her era's tour comes to the city later this week. And one local farmer is welcoming the singer in a very special way with a message you can see from the skies above. Matt Evans gives us a preview. Last week, it was a combine harvesting wheat in this Ray County field. And today, it's Rob Stouffer driving around his Bobcat. We're trying to get at this all created in one day. Finding a way to blend art and science. I've been doing this for 23 years, and there is a level of craftsmanship. It also takes a team watching from the skies. I think you can go farther forward. They were the ones that convinced Rob to take on this project in the first place. The team kind of came up with this concept probably about six like, weeks ago. Uh, I said, no, I don't want to do this, and here we are. <laughs> Because when it's Taylor Swift coming to town, there's no choice. You have to roll out more than a welcome mat. So we kind of think this is the, the quintessential welcome to the Midwest and to the heartland. By this afternoon, he'd already etched KC welcomes Taylor into the ground and is now working on her portrait until it eventually looks like this. We're just here to celebrate with the city and with, with the event. It really is Taylor Swift coming to town. It is a phenomenon and uh, we're just for one place small part. It's really impressive that and is. Rob does hope that Taylor Swift herself sees the project when it's all done. Swift will be taking the stage at Arrowhead Stadium on July 7th and the 8th as part of her Eras tour. Very impressive. I I'm can't always so it. surprised how they can figure that out and obviously you need help from the air. So. Exactly. Yeah. I've been seeing a lot of different types of welcoming Taylor Swift into different <laughs> cities. People will light up bridges or do other things. Man, I people mean, are excited. <laughs> I know. I have some friends who are going to see Taylor Swift in Seattle in just I think two and a half weeks. Wow. So I'm excited to see what Seattle does. That's the 22nd yeah. and the 23rd. She'll be here in the Evergreen State. <laughs> okay, we'll keep watching for that. We will. Let's take a live look outside in Richland. This is our Columbia Point Skycam. I'll have a look at what to expect for the rest of your day coming up. Lots and lots of haze on the forecast. Plus, the latest on the Tunnel 5 fire as the wildfire has claimed the homes of some nearby residents. And the U.S. Attorney's Office is looking to continue working hand-in-hand -hand with regional authorities in order to prevent and respond to missing and murdered Indigenous people. Good Morning Northwest continues right now. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good Morning Northwest on your side. 